for it. Um, so this is the one player version. We worked on the AI a little bit. Um, the desired behavior in this game is a little bit complex. You, you want to get the tiles and you, you want to avoid uh, getting hit by the walls uh, as well as going out of bounds, right? <laughs> so <laughs> you can see I'm kind of bouncing around in there. We kind of I used I took inspiration from this uh, this architecture that's used in um, self-driving cars a decent amount called uh, DAMN or DAM uh, stands for Distributed Architecture for Mobile Navigation and wow nice and uh, I think you got them I think so too but I There's also little... I thought that earlier <laughs> so the idea with DAMN is. Um, Basically, you have a bunch of desired behaviors and requirements, and uh, you have a you submit a bunch of options, and each 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 behavior module will uh, vote for which options it prefers. So, in our case, at any point in time, you can basically uh, turn, rotate clockwise, or counterclockwise, or keep going straight. And uh, each of these modules uh, says, uh, "Do I do I like this option? Do I like this option? Do I like this option?" It gives a score to these ones. Then you have an arbiter which decides, uh, okay, given the votes of all of these different... Himself. Yeah, I think you can see. The collision checking isn't necessarily the most robust, so... Um, so the <gasps> arbiter makes the final call on, like, these. all these modules want these different votes, and so at the end of the day, the most important thing is uh, let's do X or Y. So um, this AI in particular has two modules. One is to avoid collisions, that has the highest priority, and the second is to uh, try to find tiles which are likely to give it points. <laughs> so what it does is um, oh, we fuck. use what in computer science is called a, a try. Um, so we build a prefix tree basically of all the words in the, in the library, in the, in the dictionary, and uh, the AI tries to find words which have our prefixes to strings. As soon as it finds a valid word, it submits it immediately. So that's that's basically its, its behavior right now. And um, it has an infinitely fast reaction time, which is pretty difficult to cope with. Um, but it's, it's pretty simple behavior. So uh, it's kind of, for the first time, we have a kind of a compelling uh, one player experience, I think, where it's not the easiest to, to beat this thing. It's, it's pretty fast and reactive. Um, and it's kind of smart, too. Uh, you know, not as smart as a human, but, but pretty good. Uh, it doesn't make walls right now, which is nice. Yeah, once it starts making walls, it might be a little scarier. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it's probably not fair for it to have perfect reaction time, so we were talking about programming it to have um, kind of a delay to new information. So just like a human isn't able to react to new information, uh, Immediately, you might program in like a half second delay to new information as well. Also, maybe you want to limit the number of inputs it can do um, in a given amount of time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> <Got destroyed. laughs> 